we're here with Junior Amelia Beach now. And Amelia, last time we saw you, you were one of the Sling Trio members <laughs> with, after having some surgery. And first of all, how's your rehab coming? And It's good. I started hitting wiffle balls last week, so that's definitely an improvement. And then from there on, I'll just work on to real balls and live and then start throwing at the end of the season. So... What is it like having, you know, an injury like that when, you know, in a game like softball and, you know, you have any kind of an arm injury, it pretty much puts you out of commission, but just walk us through the rehab process and what it was like, you know, being on the sidelines last season during the postseason and, you know, what you were able to do, you know, helping out your teammates. Um, it was definitely difficult being on the sidelines, but I learned quickly how to take a role of being a cheerleader and helping people to, um, pick the pitches and stuff like that more than being on the field. Um, I could do rehab every single day now so that I'm getting stronger and so that my arm will be even better than it was before. Um, so that definitely takes time out of my day also, but um, this season will be a little different for me. I'll be keeping charts and being the cheerleader again and wearing the polo and khakis, so that'll be a little different, but I'm definitely looking forward to it because we have a good, we had, um, good people coming in this year and it looks like we're going to have a really great season like last year so it should definitely be fun. Who has really opened up your eyes either a returner or a freshman coming in that you've seen who's really impressed you in the first two weeks of practice? I think Kelsey Wiesman is definitely the first one that comes to my mind just because we both got hurt at the same time so we were sling buddies together and so to see her progress from not playing this summer and doing rehab I know how hard she's had to work to get back and especially her second at bat of the of being back hitting a home run is pretty impressive so I think she'll definitely do great things this season. What is the team looking to do to build upon the success at the end of last year as you get towards the start of this season? I think we definitely have to um, work harder than we did last season because we weren't as happy with our end results and being 13th and we wanted to be in the World Series. So we build off of that and um, hope that we can just do better than last year. But we definitely use our rings as ins inspiration to do better and to work harder every day in practice. Talking about the ACC, it's you know one of an up and coming conference, becoming one of the top conferences. It's been very top heavy in the past, but how do you see things shaping out this year now that you've had a chance to play all the teams a couple of years now? I think it'll definitely be a lot different than the past couple of years because there's not just one team that sticks out. Like my freshman year was VT with Tincher. And um, so I think it'll definitely be a tough race for first this year. UNC will still be hard to beat like last year. Um, and I think there's a lot of teams that had a lot of good recruits come in. So it'll be each, each series will be very important for us to sweep and get that win and come back. Well, you're a junior now and you know, as you move ahead as an upperclassman, what are you looking to pass on to the younger kids? You have a very, you know, strong freshman class coming in, lots of freshmen and sophomores here, and just what are you looking to, to pass on to them? I think it's important to know your role on the team and to understand that every role is important, and in order for us to win another ACC championship and go to the World Series, it's going to be important for everyone to fill their role and do the best that they can at their particular role. Well, thank you very much, Millie, and good luck. Thank you.